President Biden and the First Lady are heading to Maui later today as questions grow about the response to the disaster there and the lack of warning time. Mola Lange is on Maui. Good morning, Mola. Well, good morning, Rebecca. Yeah, the president's scheduled to meet with first responders and wildfire victims here on Maui later today and also tour the devastated areas, 85% of which, according to the governor, have now been searched with 850 people still unaccounted for and 114 dead. Go. Overnight, dramatic new video shared with ABC News showing Maui firefighters yeah, driving through the inferno. Our visibility is really limited right now. Watch the flames shooting past the fire truck's window, the black smoke blinding as the blaze ripped through the historic town of Lahaina. Now, 13 days later, questions mounting about the response to the deadliest wildfire in modern U.S. history. We spoke to Chief Brad Ventura in his first national interview since this tragic disaster. We're still um, in a sense of shock, both myself and our department and our community. Um, as the days go on, it sinks in a little bit more. This video from August 7th capturing what could be an early trigger to the deadly fire. It's windy and then there's a flash and I think that's when a tree is falling on a power line. By the next morning on August 8th at 6.37 a.m. in Lahaina Town, Shane Trio uses a garden hose to battle a fire. Yeah, that's the power line that started. It started from up the road there and all of that is still burning. Authorities declaring that brush fire under control around 9 a.m. But then... As the weather blew through town and uh, power lines continued to drop all around them, when they left the fire, they were confident that that fire was cold. But fires continued to ignite when the winds caused a flare-up to spread. By 5 p.m., flames tearing through the town. The whole units, all units, we got to get out of the center of this fire. Firefighters say the fire hydrants were running dry after the power went out, eventually telling people to evacuate. They need uh, water. That resources is so precious to us. So when they were running out, they were so disheartened. Well, the president releasing a statement ahead of his arrival here on Maui today, saying we will be here as long as it takes for Maui. The cause of this fire still being investigated, and the governor here requesting the state attorney general also open up an investigation, George. Okay, Mola, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.